Sober. Oh man, it's too shadowed. I gotta go this way. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Hi, um, welcome to my backyard. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going camping today. We're going on a backpacking, backcountry trip solo. You're coming with me. Um, so many of you have asked for my gear review and camping gear um, tips. And I have filmed this actually four times. This is the fifth. Uh, what happens? Life. Um, I'm not happy with it. Um, it's hard because I'm like, do I make it for YouTube or do I make it for Reels or do I make it for TikTok? It's super hard. So I'm just going to do it this way and then we'll see how that goes. And I'll probably make little ones for Reels and TikTok. But right now I'm just trying to figure out what works best for you. I mean, Jenny. You might be able to see Jenny. Jenny's very sick. She's not coming. She's been throwing up for two days. Uh, so that's great. I'm on vacation. There's a plane over me. So I'm going on this trip alone, uh, which is exciting because I've never done a backpacking backcountry trip alone. I've hiked alone, but I've never stayed overnight. I've done like car camping, meaning you drive and then you can walk into your site. But this I'm going to like hike three, four hours into the site and then hike back after I sleep there. Why? because that's fun for me. So I'm gonna show you what's in my bag or what I bring. Hi, Jenny. Hey, you. Wanna do my show? Am I in it? Probably. I'm, I'm just cheering you on. Okay, she's just eating Tim Hortons, very Canadian. It, the, the light is so harsh back here. You need a book bag or backpack. Um, this is a, what's the liter? I don't even know, 65. Aurora or Osprey. I highly recommend. You can do different sizes. I'm barely 5'2 and this fits my little back and my little shoulders. Adjustable, lightweight, but um, I got it last year and I love it. Jenny has the bigger version of this. I forget what it's called. It's green. Um, I think it's 70 liters and she loves that too, but she's 5'11, so of course she's gonna enjoy that. <laughs> my tent my tent um we'll explain this so i'll bring my tent i'll show you when we get there tent in a waterproof bag because i have had a wet tent before and i hate that it's jenny's towel i don't need that so i always get dry fit bags put my clothes in to be waterproof but then it also makes them really com compact and small Bring those. This is my mat that I sleep on. I'm not sure you when get there. My pillow and my sleeping bag. I'm actually going to put these in a compression sack. Am I in the frame? Probably not. <laughs> and then This was like, workout. and then you just take the strap, pull it tight as you can. Okay. And that's your sleeping bag. These compression bags don't come with your actual sleeping bag. Um, with like bags like this, which you should keep them like that when you're not camping, so we can keep the, especially if it's a. Uh, a down sleeping bag, keep the fluff, the shape of it. Um, you can get these, I think they're like 20, 30 bucks, Mac REI. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's a lot smaller. It's just bigger than my head. All right, next we're gonna put clothes. I'll put clothes in another compression bag. My stove, cooking, boiling water. I have a jet boil. I will give a whole nother review or video on this because this has been one of the best updates or um, kind of investments I've made. Um, definitely worth the price for me. Anyway, 
so it has a lighter in there um, and then we'll bring fuel just a little canister make sure it's full and that's how I will eat and make coffee for my mug or my cup I guess I could also eat like ramen out of this just like a lightweight GSI mug it keeps them it keeps it warm it's no Yeti or anything but it's so lightweight I just put instant coffee in here and this can just hang off my bag. I always bring rope uh, and a carabiner. Just you never know what you need to hang or make. Or, I don't know. So just have this. It's also I think it's full in the dark. Or yeah, it's reflective. Um, I think there's where I'm going is there. I'll show you. There's bear um, catches. So like you, put, it's a pulley system where you put the food up really up high so the bears can't get it. But if there isn't, I can make my own. I'll tie it to a tree away from the tree and hang it in like a waterproof bag. Um, I mean, if the bears really want it, they'll go get it, but uh, it's harder and obviously far away from where I'm sleeping. Quick outfit change. Okay. Um, clothes. I just have a change of clothes, my bathing suit, and one clothes to sleep in tonight. And I'll explain that more in a moment, but I can't say. Then for me to show you my whole wardrobe. Alright, these are my clothes. See the size. Okay. Alright. Clothes. Tent. Oh, where are those tent poles? Headlamps. Where are all the headlamps? A headlamp, headlamp. I also got this, I'll show you what I got there, but a company sent me this wicked lantern. I'll show you a bright again so it's not there. Toiletry stuff, a waterproof bag, dehydrated meals. We'll talk about it when we get there. Very light. Sounds like a mushroom risotto and hot cinnamon apple oats and quinoa cereal. Amazing. Bring ramen just in case, and then a bunch of these. But apples are kind of heavy. This is kind of stupid, but I like apples. These I like vegan kind of protein bites. They're good. They're very good. Both are good. Um, one gram of sugar, five grams of protein. Sometimes you need. Um, what else? These like energies. These are really good if you're dehydrated. Uh, you throw them in your water. Get your electrolytes. You lose so much water, Huggy, especially in the hot heat. I bring two lighters back up. Bring my one little spoon. I think that's really it. Oh, my water bladder. I want you to buy anything. It's a water bladder. This is the best thing. I think this would be the number one thing that I always bring. Um, this goes in any backpack, and then you just have access to water all the time. This one I think carries, yeah, two liters, and I usually have, I drink all this. I'm gonna also bring a water filter because I'm hiking to a lake, so then I can filter the water and put more in here, or I can boil it in my jet boil, used for cooking. Ah, uh, hot tip, know where your water sources are. There is a ton of people at this uh, trailhead and it's late. It's like 6.30 at night. I don't know, there's people coming out. So I'm like, oh, maybe they're just doing a day hike. And there's multiple hikes in here. There's only five camping pads though. And I am worried that they're gone. And if they are, then I have to hike more. I have to hike another, I think it's like an extra 6K which that's gonna be a significant chunk of hours into my hike and it's already 6 30. so i'm just hoping everybody's at a day hike i don't know what to do i'll have to judge it when i get to the first and if it's too dark i don't want to set up in the dark i'm like do i come back with my tail between my legs and then just oh uh, I, I don't know i thought i thought if i went late 
everybody that was like hanging out at the lake go home i don't know we'll see also i'm really hoping my car doesn't get broken into literally people's cadillac converters uh, get stolen windows smash cars have been towed out of here because hooligans uh, i don't know uh i hope Please don't take anything into my car. There's nothing in my car other than my ball glove. Please do not take my ball glove. I'm going to hide it. But that's it. Other than that, you can have at her. couldn't even film me hiking because it was so hard. You forget what it's like to have like 35 pounds on your back going up. <sighs> this is great. There's the other 10 pads too. cotton will just keep you soaked and then you get a chill and then you will never be able to get, keep warm unless you make a fire. Um, so I'm going to change into this Adam Light hoodie from Arteryx and uh, I have a sweater and stuff somewhere in there but get out of this wet clothes. My memory card is full. I just deleted a couple, but I don't know how much I'm able to film on my phone. But this is my tent. It's the Marmont 3 person. Um, oh, it's the tungsten. Tungsten by Marmont. Um, if you've followed me for a long time, you know I built this tent in my uh, living room while COVID was happening because I couldn't go out. Um, I'll clip this in here. Anyway, I love this tent. It is a three person tent. It is so roomy. You can like sit up in it. It isn't technically like a backpacking, but it is like, I don't find it that heavy. It's perfect. Three people can fit in there and it's fine, but it's great for two people. So much room for me. I'll show you when I set up. Um, and I got on sale, I got on sale. Look for the sale. I got it, I bought it over Christmas Boxing Day or something, like $150 off. Best, I love this tent. Um, and now, my Nemo uh, thermal rest. Guys, this, let me show you this. I love this thing. This is it, good. And then you attach this. And I'll show you how this works here. And then you're gonna blow this up. Guys, there's a really cute couple. They're the only other ones here. And they're just having like a really romantic time in the dog, which is so great. But this is perfect because I saw a lot of people, but there is other people, which you want, at least I want as a backpacker. So 
Um, they're actually far over there, but they're just enjoying the dog and they seem so nice and friendly and I can't, I'm so happy that y'all were. sleeping bag. It's from minus uh, nine. Sorry, Americans, I have no idea what that is. Look that up. But it's the mummy uh, regular size because I'm short. I probably should have got it short. And then this is a liner. Um, it's super poopy. And I just washed this, but I've been told by TikTok you can actually wash your down um, sleeping bag. I have no idea. Um, I just got this from Mac. Um, but yeah, I said put this in. It's an extra sheet. It's really comfy and it's extra warm. So we just put that in here. where the bear catches when I do it. In case none of you have done that before. Um, I'm gonna put some pants on. Um, listen, so quiet, so nice. I just put rocks down just to case, cause you can't use your pegs cause there's no dirt. Um, and now I'm going to, yeah, we're gonna make that mushroom risotto dehydrated meal. So we're gonna boil water and then put them in there. garbage slash food bag slash anything with like food smelling um bag and it's dry bag so it can get water it can get wet i want to show you um when sometimes parks have bear catches or um kind of the pulley system so that the bears can't get it so sometimes there's like a locker where the bear can't open it it's like bear proof or and sometimes to the pulley systems where you yank them up really high so the bear can't um and it's not near trees so bears can't climb up to get it okay food catch so you yank this and wheel it all the way up here so i'll show you so there my little guy there's a food Hopefully, good night's sleep. See you guys in the morning. Morning. I did not sleep. I probably fell asleep around four because I was just like so worried about animals. And I'm usually really good. And to be really fair, like it's a really busy trail. It's a day trail. Like families come up here, and there's like working like toilets and stuff. So, 
animals are probably not coming here. And also, when animals see their tent, they think you're that big as the tent. But anyway, there's no reason, like, I had no explanation. I wasn't near food. There's nothing for them to come here for. But any little snap, any little rustle, I would be like, what is that? Um, which I haven't really done like that in a while. But anyway, I <laughs> fell asleep before. It's just before 9 now. It is cooking. It is hot. It's supposed to be like 31 degrees. Again, let's just... Is that 100 for you guys? 90 Americans? I don't know. Anyway, I want to make some breakfast. Um, and get out of here because it's so hot. And hope my car isn't vandalized. But other than that, it's good night. <gasps> oh. You're jumping. Great news. Bear bag. The bears didn't want my bag. Wasn't touched. Perfect. I have coffee right here. How many sunscreen is it? Hot. People are already out hiking this trail because it's a day trail. I definitely am jumping in the water. Okay, I can make some coffee, some oatmeal. Get on with my day. It's so nice. Okay, for anybody that like coffee snobs is gonna be like what do you do for coffee I literally just buy these Starbucks instant um, I think you can get 10 for eight dollars Jenny has an Aeropress and I've had Aeropress they're very nice but like this takes up way less room than an Aeropress less mess um, oh, it's boiling. and it works for me and sometimes I bring oat milk like little bottles of oat milk I didn't this time though but yeah but I'm sure I'll get to the point where we bring an Aeropress I think I've lost my edge. Usually I can stay for at least like 10 seconds, but that was, that was hard. I might try again. Oh, I need some sunscreen. We're gonna wrap up here and I talked to a few people. I think my car's okay, let's knock on some wood. Um, which is great. So I'm gonna actually read a little bit of my book and then get out of here. back to the car we're safe we're good no Cadillac converter stolen uh, I just poured water on my head because I'm sweating this isn't sweat personally maybe have sweat check out this mountain behind me though that's the next one um, thank you for hanging out with me this was a success uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments um, also if you have any tips for me this is why I love doing these things online as you can learn and I hope to bring you guys in the next one. Okay, I'm gonna go home and shower. <laughs>